when you uh, want to understand why trigeminal neuralgia happens, it's really a, a problem of uh, the reddish Obersteiner zone. And uh, if you uh, remember your basic anatomy and biology, reddish Obersteiner zone is the root entry zone and is where the transition between the glial and uh, Schwann cells happens. It's a zone that has the myelin depletion. And because of that, it's weak. And the weakness of that zone will cause irritability of the nerve. So a trigeminal neuralgia, which is a essential trigeminal neuralgia, that means it's not a trigeminal neuralgia caused by other cause. For instance, there is no tumor, there is no uh, aneurysm, there is nothing else that is causing trigeminal neuralgia. There is no tooth problem or a more distal problem in the branches of the trigeminal nerve that cause trigeminal neuralgia, because those would be symptomatic trigeminal neuralgia by another cause. But when you do not have any other cause, when your imaging CAT scan and brain MRI is pristine, the cause is that this reddish Obersteiner zone is irritated by effactic transmission. And uh, there is an impaired segmental inhibition at that zone caused by a vascular pulsation. And that creates a hyperactive dysfunctional syndrome in a sense that all of us might have that, but does not necessarily translate into a trigeminal neuralgia. But at some point in life, and this is more common in women and is more common between the age of 40 to 60, you have this imbalance between the pulsation of the vessel, effaptic transmission, and that hyperactive dysfunctional syndrome that creates impulse into the nerve and that will create pain into the patient's face and trigeminal nerve has three branches v1 around the uh, forehead v2 just below the eye and v3 which is the mandible so this is sort of like to for you to understand why someone without any other cause gets a trigeminal neuralgia which is essential that means there is no other explanation for it is because of this transition zone that is weak and a vessel that is sitting there, and at some point in life, it starts to act out and create this horrible pain disorder. You can see here cranial nerve 5, cranial nerve 8, cranial nerve 7, and cranial nerve 9. All of them, they have this red leash Obersteiner zone, and all of them can have a syndrome related to that cranial nerve. Obviously, we're going to focus on trigeminal neuralgia because that's a topic for today. But as I said, and the title of my talk is saying, this is a cranial nerve disorders includes all cranial nerve and those that are really affected by a compression of a vessel or basically really uh, these four that are here fifth nerve seventh nerve eighth nerve which would be basically the vestibular nerve and ninth nerve which will cause glossopharyngeal neuralgia and the fifth, seventh nerve, the facial nerve, will cause a disease called hemifacial spasm, which is also a horrible um, disfiguring problem, but fortunately curable by neurosurgical treatment. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.